My husband was abusive towards me for ten years. Look at yourself. No one needs someone like you. No one wants to sail into the open sea on an old trove. Mike wasn't even ashamed to say that in front of other people. Look at Tay, and don't tell me she's 30, who looks like my mom. Whenever I tried to defend myself, he would stop me. You're over-dramatizing. The truth hurts, doesn't it? He rarely came home on time, and sometimes didn't even come home at all. But I loved him and forgave almost everything. Where are you? I'm busy. Who are you talking to, honey? That night, I did not go to bed alone. I waited for him. Mike arrived in the morning and looked at me indifferently. Another danger. I'm leaving forever. He didn't say anything, but I saw a smile on his face. I thought I was free of him. But a week later, something unexpected happened. I discovered that I was expecting a baby. Mike and I started seeing each other every day. He gave me flowers, we laughed and walked in the park for hours. I waited in vain for him to repent, and after giving birth, I decided to get him back at all costs. I lost a lot of weight, bought a beautiful dress, and called him. We got together again, but... Everything went back to how it was before, very quickly. And now there was a cold indifference instead of insults. What do you think, honey? Terrible. All my shirts are dirty. Do the mountains. Soon I couldn't stand it and left again, crying. I moved 1,000 kilometers away from Mike and met another man. Paul loved me and my son more than anything, and agreed not only to marry me, but also to adopt my child. We lived in perfect harmony for several years, but I kept thinking about my ex-husband. Soon I found out that Mike was ill, as he called me late one night. Come, there's no one to help me. I left my son, my new husband, and rushed back to my ex. I believed he had changed on his deathbed, but as it turned out, he didn't. Bring me food. Give me water. Get out. Soon I ran out of patience. Don't you understand that on the third time, I'll be gone forever? Mike just laughed in my face. You have left and returned so many times. You're not going anywhere. The next morning, he woke up all alone, and I took the first plane back to my son and husband. But no one was waiting for me there. <sighs> to see the child, text my mother. Unlike me, Paul knew what the most important thing was. If you leave, leave forever. Don't waste your life on someone who doesn't care about you.